Hi guys, I'm back for another first impression review. I'm going to be reviewing the new e.l.f. HD Studio foundations and concealer. So I have the HD Mattifying Cream Foundation. I picked up two colors because I wasn't sure if I would be either buff or sand. These retail for $6 on the e.l.f. website. And then the concealers are HD Lifting Concealers and I have medium and light. And these retail for three bucks. Let's just start off with the concealer. It says here that it's a high definition skin firming concealer that hides imperfections and regenerates the skin for added radiance. Minimizes fine lines, helps even out skin tone for a youthful look. Infused with vitamin C, green tea, and mulberry for lifting and soothing. And as you can see, I have many flaws on my face. Lots of redness around my nose, underneath my eyes, just looks a little deeper. So let's just swatch both of these on my hand. Pretty obvious, which is light. And it seems to have good coverage. The shades are significantly different. I think it's kind of a drastic <laughs> change between the two. One looks fair and one looks deep. I'm gonna put on the light first underneath my eyes. Put this around my nose. I do have some redness on my cheeks, but I don't want to conceal that because um, I want to see also the coverage of the foundation. But the concealer does a really great job with canceling out the dark circles underneath my eyes and then also obviously canceling out the redness. It was super easy to blend and it sets pretty well. It's not completely dry, but it's not watery and it doesn't feel sticky. So moving on to foundation, it says it's high definition, oil-free, lightweight foundation that's great for normal to oily skin types. A cream to powder formula, minimizing fine lines and leaves a natural long-lasting matte finish. It looks to have a little bit of condensation. Oh, it's super creamy. Very, very creamy. Look at that, it like swatches like a liquid it's so lightweight this is obviously too light for me so here's buff i think yeah i'm closer to buff Ooh, that looks actually dark okay that's not bad once you blend it in now just feeling the consistency of it, it's turning into a liquid, not even a cream anymore because it's super thin. It doesn't smell like anything. It seems to be blending in pretty well. It doesn't feel like it's set from a uh, cream to powder but I think it does a good job evening out my skin tone. It was easily blendable, at least by using the sponge. And I'm not sure if it's done setting yet, maybe not, but it doesn't look like a matte finish so far. Um, I'm gonna even out the rest of my skin with the concealer and foundation, finish up the rest of my face, and then by then it should set, so I'll be right back. So it's been over 10 minutes and that's more than enough time to allow foundation to set. Now, I, I still don't feel like it's a powder finish. It feels like it's maybe a satin finish. And this is an HD camera, HD foundation. What do you guys think? This is with one layer of foundation. I think it looks pretty good. All right, so we have to do the flash photography. Now when I turn off this light in front of me, I feel I feel more shiny. Can you guys see the light reflecting off my skin? I mean, it's a beautiful glow, but it's just not matte at all. Anyways, uh, let's take a picture and see what this looks like. Whoa, I look super shiny. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of setting powder just in my T-zone. That looks a lot better. Well, we're gonna wear this throughout the day. 
It is almost 11.45 in the morning. I'll check back in a few hours. It is almost 1 o'clock. I wanted to show you what the foundation looks in natural light and it looks really nice. It's smooth. It's not the highest coverage. You could still see my zit and I did put a dab of concealer on there so it didn't conceal it completely. But around my nose everything is even toned. Now it, d it still doesn't look matte or feel matte. It feels like a cream foundation. I'll check back in a few hours. It's been quite a few hours. It's almost six o'clock in the evening. Uh, in person, the foundation looks pretty good. I am starting to look shiny. Um, the foundation on my nose is pretty much rubbed off. And as you can see earlier, it didn't do too well concealing my zit. The blush stayed on pretty well. Now I am just gonna touch up a little bit around my nose area. Let's see how this builds. So that was a very simple touch up. I like that as I build it on top of what I already had or lack of, um, it didn't look cakey. Everywhere else looks really good. So I am gonna check back at the end of the night and then I'll let you know my final thoughts. It's the end of the day, it's 10 p.m. I straight up look oily, especially on my T-zone. Now I did put a setting powder in the very beginning of the day, but my oil just powered right through the foundation and right through the powder. Definitely does not give me a long lasting matte finish. Several hours ago, I did touch up around my nose and also my zit area. My zit area is still um, it's starting to peek through my nose. The redness is also starting to peek through. So yeah, it's just not the longest lasting foundation by itself. So my final thoughts on the product, it definitely does not do what it claims. So number one, it's not a matte foundation. Two, it's not a long lasting matte foundation. And lastly, it claims to be a cream to powder. It doesn't even finish close to a powder. But there are several things I like about it. Number one, I love how easy it is to apply, especially with the sponge that it comes with. It glides on real smooth, it's fast. It evens out your skin tone right away. It just needs a lot of work with um, oil control. So if you do have combination to oily skin, I highly recommend you touch up throughout the day with a setting powder. It doesn't say that they recommend this for dry skin, but I don't see this to be a problem because I don't find it to be a powdery product at all. For the price, $6, it's a decent drugstore foundation. And as for the concealer, the concealer's all right. There wasn't anything that really stood out to me. Let me just touch up because I actually did not touch up at all with this concealer. So it touches up nice and easy and it's only three bucks so I mean you can't go wrong if you're just looking for an affordable concealer and just something to have in your purse. All in all it's not a horrible product, it's just not a product that I would purchase again. So those are my thoughts on the HD e.l.f. products. If you've tried these, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and also let me know what video you would like to see next. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! The drugstore for on average $13. They don't have a wide color selection. There's only eight shades and most of the shades are fair to medium skin tones. And it says that you can wear this by itself or you can use as a setting powder. Over